Hey everyone, it is August 7th and I wanted to share with you what we're making for dinner tonight. My name is Michelle Tennant Nicholson. I'm an international publicist during the day, publicist during the day, an amateur triathlete and a spinning instructor at my gym for fun. What I'm doing here um, with this channel, this is my personal health vlog, fast food from the farmers market.com and I share my health journey. So as you know right now, um, I'm attempting my 10 minute mile or less, and so I need to get some of my thickness down. So I've been doing a 30 day cleanse with Isogenics. If you wanna read more about Isogenics, just go to the link at the top of my banner on my YouTube page. I'll also have one in the bottom of the description of this video. So but it's 22 grams, I just mix it with water and ice and it's fabulous. I actually like the taste of it. It's pea, protein, and hemp. I've been really enjoying those and been feeling very satiated with those. And then I've also been having some almonds if I need more. But you can see here, you know, I still have some stuff to lose. And I'm uh, doing it my evening meal. I just want to I just want to chronicle everything that I'm doing. So today I had I taught spinning this morning, and then I had um, an isogenic shake for breakfast and then after my right before my my workout that I was teaching and then after my workout I immediately had an apple and uh, maybe six almonds some raw unsalted almonds organic and then um, I had coffee with cream and a, a, about a teaspoon of cane sugar raw cane sugar and I did have organic half and half in that in that I've been doing my Lingine Reseda stuff still. That's where this meal comes from. So, uh, my oil's getting a little hot. Let me pull that over. So y'all remember I was doing this. I'm still do basing my meals after what I found out on what's low inflammation for my body. So I'm gonna be preparing in the evenings low inflammation meals that accompany my, my shakes. But of course, you know, you just have to According to them, you just need to stick between four to 600 calories. But I'm still gonna do my evening meals that I learned to do um, from this book earlier part of this year, which I have my red wine for my prebiotics, so it helps my stomach digest. So bottoms up, even though I'm not a big wine drinker. Mm. This is muscadine wine, it's a sweeter wine. And it is fantabulous, I must say. She, you can read about it in her book about how, why it's important to have red wine and so forth. So, I just want for everybody who's as busy as I am, how am I making this meal? I am making cod. Okay, my husband is excited about this because it's, um, it's actually made home a very southern way. I'm going to teach you how to do a southern way, and you may go, that's not healthy, but it depends on who you are. Right, so the way that I make this is actually low inflammation for me. Um, Lynn is not afraid of oil, and neither am I now. So the first thing is, is white potatoes. Believe it or not, white potatoes are low inflammation. So what I'm gonna do is I've scrubbed these. These are organic potatoes. I'm gonna put them in the microwave. I'm gonna nuke them. I know not everybody loves that, but sometimes you make sacrifices. And then when it comes out, I'm gonna cut them up and then stick them in um, the wok with a little bit of olive oil. The, I'm gonna have some onion in there already cooked. So I'm gonna saute some onion and then add these chopped cooked microwave potatoes and then it's gonna be like a little fried potato which my husband just loves. And you'll love it too. And that's it, you don't really have to, you can put a little bit of seasoning salt if you want to, but it's not really needed. So we're gonna make that, that's baking. Um, on my, my stove, I have a wok, and I'm going to put about, I haven't heated the wok, so I can actually bring it over here to show you, okay? So I just take my wok, it's not hot, don't worry about it. This is a, um, I've had this wok, you know, since my teen, this is my dad got me this, he's no longer with us. I got this, I think he bought this for me when I was 16, so it's a real wok. I get my kale, it's already washed and cut, ready to go. And then I just put that in there with a little bit of water. 
If you want to add oil, that's fine. I usually like to drizzle some on the end, maybe with like a, a lemon olive oil um, pepper dressing. I'm going to add, you can do garlic in the clothes, but since I'm doing this in a quick way, I'm just going to show you how I can do it quickly. Just going to use a little bit of garlic, nature's antibiotic. And we're just going to wilt that. Okay. My, my water's a little hot. This is from one of those electric skillets. That's fine. And then I'm just going to put that on to medium heat. And that's going to cook. Let that cook. I've got my fish oil. I've got olive oil in a skillet. And I'm using a cast iron skillet. And I've just got a tiny little bit of olive oil that covers the bottom, maybe about a fourth of an inch, okay? And then I'm using cod. Let me show you what I've done here. So in this skill, in this, these are frozen Alaskan cod fillets that I just get at my grocery. I'm looking for sustainable, certified sustainable seafood to make sure that they're actually not hurting the oceans and so forth. I'm okay with a wild caught white fish. Some other fishes like salmon and so forth um, reacted to and it causes bloating and inflammation in my body. So I like to do the a white uh, fish, okay? And all I've done is I've put it in water and it's been sitting in some water in my sink for about 40 minutes. So when I was ready to make dinner, I just took some frozen fish, put it in some water, and that's ready to go now. So my, I'm just going to go over my how I'm going to bread it, and then you're, that's the meal, you guys. And then I'm going to do it, and we're going to eat. And so everything in about an hour, okay? So pretty, pretty easy stuff. So I'm using panko breadcrumbs instead of a corn meal. Corn is reactive and our corn is not as pure as it once was. And if you want to see a movie about that, I recommend King Corn. But <clears throat> wheat for me is low reactive. You'll have to test it to see what's, uh, you know, if, if wheat is reactive to you, then you know maybe some, uh, do some rye breadcrumbs. Uh, rye tends to be low reactive for people. Or you can use any type of flour, like even a garbanzo flour meal. Um, if you can have soy, I can't have soy, but maybe you can have a soy meal. Something like that, okay? So any type of flour. I'm just going to put that in there. I like spike. So I'm just going to put in a bunch, you know, a liberal amount of spike. Spike is just a seasonal. You know, you might have Lowry's or some other seasonal. House. I don't, I always just make sure it doesn't have MSG in it, so whatever seasonal you have. And then I like this little guy for some crunch. This is Eden Organic Seaweed, I don't even know how you say that, G-O-M-A-S-I-O, -S -S Seaweed Seeds and Sea Salt. My oil's, my oil's getting hot again. Hold on. You don't want to burn your oil before you get started and make it rancid. So then this has just got some seaweed. Some sesame again, you gotta test to make sure you can have sesame, I can. And this crunch is what my husband really loves. And then we're just gonna. Now, as you all know, we have farm raised chickens. We have our backyard chickens that we've got. We're just gonna mix up that. And you can add, you know, more seasoning if you want to. You can even taste it a little bit. Mmm. Just nice and that crunch is just an awesome, awesome thing. Really superior to any fish that you get into a restaurant. Okay, <clears throat> and then we're, I'm just going to put a couple of eggs in this one. These are our farm, our backyard chicken eggs. And you all know that we've been caring for our little chickens in the backyard. And so we do yolk the whole bit, but you could do egg whites if you wanted to here. You could also do water. Um, I don't do dairy very well, but you could also do dairy here. You know, some kind of milk or something, or rice milk or whatever. Okay? I like to do egg.
I'm going to dredge it in the egg batter, the egg, and then I'm going to dredge it in this crust, and then I'm going to put it right in on the stove, and I'm going to cook it, you know, a few minutes on each side, and then I'm going to put it on a paper towel on a plate and wait for my kale and my potatoes to be done, which will be momentarily, and then we're eating. So, hope, uh, here's to hell for you. Let me know how you're doing. Bye.